Our youths also want a greater say in policy making in areas they care deeply about. That's why we set out the four inaugural youth panels to partner them to shape national policies. Dr. Harun asked how we are harnessing our youth's creativity to shape our future and if we are tapping a wider pool of youths. I'm happy to share with him that around 140 youths from diverse backgrounds are indeed on our youth panels. DPM Wong shared in his budget speech about an initiative that will help donors better appreciate the needs of our society and also direct their resources to these needs. Today, I'm glad to announce the launch of this initiative called the Collective Society, the Collective for a Stronger Society, or the Collective for short. Put together by the Community Foundation of Singapore, CFS, in partnership with MSF and Community Chess, and supported by MCCY, the Collective will connect donors with causes where donors can navigate causes on the ground that uplift lower income families, direct their resources to nonprofits, social enterprises, and other partners that lead impactful initiatives, and identify gaps in the landscape and come up with fresh solutions that address unmet needs in society. The Collective is one platform for our community and our co corporates to give back. The other platform is our Singapore Government Partnerships Office, SGPO, which we launched in January to partner citizens and stakeholders who are keen to work with government to turn their ideas into reality. We agree with Mr. Bay and recognise that some of these ideas do not necessarily fall neatly along agency lines. Therefore, SGPO acts as a first stop for citizens and stakeholders with such ideas and it helps to connect them with the right agencies or partners to put their ideas into action.